An act of domestic violence nearly cost a Cumberland County woman her life. Authorities say Anaya Stansel was shot by her ex-boyfriend early yesterday. Her mother tells WRAL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays the man who intervened saved her daughter's life. It's a story you'll only see on WRAL. <laughs> Wanda Williams says her daughter was in a turbulent relationship with 30-year-old Terrence Carr. Anaya Stancil had been trying to get out of it for months, and it nearly cost her her life. Um, yeah, she went and got protective court orders and everything. I guess that didn't matter. Deanne Gertis is the executive director of the Phoenix Center. She says domestic violence is complicated. And you try to go through the system and file for the domestic violence protective order and, and get away from them. And those are always good things. That doesn't mean it's going to prevent domestic violence from happening. Authorities say Carr broke into Stancil's home on Dry Point Lane and shot her. Her mother says she had purchased a gun to protect herself, but hadn't learned how to use it. And we were supposed to have been going to go get her trained in it and get safety classes. We never made it to do that. We're told Anthony David, who was staying at the Home for Protection, used Stancil's weapon to shoot Carr, but not before being shot himself. Experts say domestic violence red flags can be subtle. Red flags vary. It could be isolation, and isolation means he not wanting you to be around family. It could be they're having access to your phone, reading your text messages, your emails. Williams says the actions David took at her daughter's home make him a hero. Grateful for him being there. I hate that the situation happened the way it did, and he ended up getting hurt also. He was in the other room asleep, and I guess he heard a noise or something. He knew how to handle it and help save her life. Now, Carr remains in the hospital in critical condition. He will be charged with attempted first-degree murder when he gets out. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bay's WREL News. And that's something. Both Stancil and David have been released from the hospital. Williams is looking forward to thanking David in person for saving her daughter's life.